Howdy folks, today I'm going to share with you guys a nice little spaghetti recipe of mine. So what we're going to need for this is obviously spaghetti. Now I prefer bucatini because it's pretty much the only version of pasta that wasn't Americanized to shit and back. Not only that, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a hole in each piece of pasta that runs throughout the length of the piece. And what that will allow the sauce to do is for the flavors to permeate throughout the pasta. Results in a much tastier pasta overall. We're going to need some sauce, and um, I prefer the ones with the whole garlic and sweet basil. Of course, you can just add them in yourself, but I mean, you know, it's already, already been added, so less work for me. We're going to need some tuna fish with olive oil. I prefer bumblebee, but anyone will work, and make sure it's with olive oil, okay? Don't get the ones that are made with, like, water or sea salt or whatever the hell it is. Olive oil. And lastly, speaking of which, we're going to need olive oil. Not too much of it, though. So anyways, first thing that you want to do is obviously fill this giant pot with water. After you fill the pot with water, obviously add your olive oil. Okay, that should be enough. And then, fuck. Put the cover on and wait for it to boil. So after the water is boiling, what you do is you take your pasta and put it in there. Now the next thing you do is you take your sauce and put it in the other pot. It's a pretty small jar, so I typically use about half the jar per meal and half the box of pasta. So Now what we got to do is let this loosen up and sink into the water. Now another thing, I typically don't heat up the sauce until the pasta has completely sank into the water. I know one end of the pasta will be a little more tender than the other, but a uh, small price to pay, I guess. Also, I don't put it on high. What I do is I put it on low heat. Just really low, just like that. Because we're only leaving it in here for about eight minutes. And trust me, the, the sauce will heat up in eight minutes. If you put it on high or medium, it's just going to bubble over and it'll mute the flavors of the sauce somewhat. Now, we're going to empty this all into a mixing bowl, and what I like to do is, when there's about a minute left, I like to heat it up in the microwave. That way, we won't have any hot food on cold plates, you know what I mean? Alright, so here we go. Empty the pasta into the bowl. Come on. Next, what you do is you take the tuna fish with the olive oil and you add it in. Make sure you don't drain the oil beforehand. Okay, got that all mixed up? Alright, final step. Add the sauce. And there you have it. That's how a wolf prepares his spaghetti. I'm gonna go eat now.